It's expected this face will be overseeing China for the next 10 years. Xi Jinping, age 59 now. Born after the 1949 revolution and the founding of today's People's Republic, today he's president, also secretary general of the Communist Party, picking up where Hu Jintao left off. Like his predecessor, Xi is a strict party man, but he is also one of those known as a red prince. His father was a hero of the revolution, who became deputy prime minister in 1963, though a few years later he was jailed. In a time of purges, persecution and proletarian re-education, American journalist and linguist Sidney Rittenberg, who was also imprisoned by Chairman Mao, modern China's founder, offers a favorable opinion of Xi's origins. My impression of Xi Jinping is quite positive. First, because uh, I knew his father very well. His father was a very good man, in my opinion. Probably the most democratic-minded member of the old party leadership. Millions of Chinese were also forcibly displaced during the Cultural Revolution, or were murdered, harassed, and abused in the organized mass hysteria and chaos under Mao's leadership. She was one of those sent for rural toughening up like so many young educated people from cities. Trying to leave Shanxi province landed him in a labor camp. Nine times he tried to join the Communist Party and was barred for connection to his father. Mao died, at last his father was released, she earned a degree in chemistry and joined and climbed within the party in economically thriving coastal Shejiang province in the 1980s. He won praise for anti-corruption action in the media, attracting attention all the way to Beijing. This head of an association for smaller businesses says of Xi, he's an incorruptible leader and that will help him break obstacles which come up in reforming China economically, for example, obstructions caused by big interests. Party chief of Shanghai, then in charge of the Beijing Olympics, leading government man in Hong Kong, she represented China far and wide and was an enigma, though no stranger to Washington. He put foreign policy watchers on notice as early as 2009 in Mexico. He made clear that his reputation for rectitude and consideration for reform didn't make him an apologist for Chinese power. He said there are some bored foreigners with full stomachs who have nothing better to do than to try to point fingers at our country. China doesn't export revolution doesn't export hunger and poverty, doesn't come and cause you any headaches, just what else do you want? Xi's wife is a civilian member in the Chinese army with a general's rank, a famous singer. They have a daughter at Harvard, and according to business magazine Bloomberg, the family is worth several hundred million euros.